I'm Matadept, and welcome to part one of my brief tutorial series about the mod Star Foundry. Today I'll be talking about the energy system. So the energy system in Star Foundry works wirelessly uh, by line of sight connections between various objects which use energy. Primarily this communication is facilitated by relays. So for example, these relays would define a connection in the network, and I might put a generator such as this combustion generator at one end and a uh, device which uses energy, such as this air fan, at the other. So now we need to actually generate some energy. The combustion generator runs on fuel, for example coal. So uh, we're going to throw some fuel onto the generator, and you can now see that this fuel bar on the left side is filled. So I'm going to activate the generator using E. And this changes to green, and uh, as you can see, it's moving and generating. And when I turn this air fan on, you can see the flow of energy from the generator to the fan. Now, one thing about combustion generators is that they generate energy at a constant rate, and that they output more than is actually needed for most devices, like this fan. So a lot of energy is being wasted here. This can be solved by adding a buffer into the system using batteries. We'll start by placing a battery rack, and then uh, several batteries inside of it. So as you can see, this rack is now green on top, which means that it's in buffer mode and can charge and discharge. If I were to interact with it, it would switch to charging mode, which means it will only receive energy. So this is a good way to top off batteries that you can be carrying around later. Anyway, now when we turn the generator back on, energy will flow uh, through the relay to the battery pack, and you can see those batteries beginning to charge. If you want an exact measure of how much energy is flowing to the batteries, you can use these link displays and wire them to the top node of the battery rack, which will tell you the total amount of stored energy in the batteries. You can also connect to the bottom node of the energy uh, battery rack, and it will tell you the total empty capacity. So these numbers together make up the total 1500 capacity of these three batteries, which are 500 energy apiece. Now when we run the air fan, Energy flows from both the battery rack and the generator, but as you can see, the battery rack is still charging, so the excess energy is being stored. We can also use wires to uh, connect the battery rack to the generator such that it will only generate when necessary. But for this we're also going to need a NOT gate, so let me grab one of those. I tend to use the tabula rasa for testing, since it makes it much easier to spawn items. Uh, however, you can also use the foundry in Star Foundry to uh, access all these recipes with balanced costs. So this knot switch will go there, and will be connected to the top of the battery. So this top node will only output when it's full which means that when it's full, it will disable this NOT switch, and when I connect this NOT switch to the generator, it will disable the generator when the battery pack is full. This makes it an easy way not to waste any fuel, and you can charge batteries automatically. Now there are two other kind of generators currently in Star Foundry, uh, one of which is a little too complicated, the thermo generator, and the other of which is extremely simple. So we need a lot of space here. And then I can place down some of these solar panels, uh, which need to be outdoors and will only function during the day, and will only generate a small amount of electricity, but that, uh, that energy is free. So 
So as you can see, there are now occasional pulses of energy being sent from the solar panels. Uh, and as I said, there's also a thermoelectric generator, but that'll be the subject of another tutorial. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll start back up again with a new one soon.